So I made this post earlier and I'm just curious, what do you guys think are the chances with everything that's happened? And we just had that cargo ship hit earlier today by Yemen. Okay, the leaders of the, the U.S., okay, it's actually, they're worldwide. They're all playing a game, but there's factions, so there will be a World War III. Okay, they were all working together, the leaders of the nations, right? But because of their, their treacherous, deceitful, cheating, robbing, bastard, thorns and briar children, right? They would work together for a common good up to this point, and now they're all going to turn on each other. As it says here, Enoch 100, okay, the sinners are going to kill each other, right? Same thing, and I think as a... Isaiah 19, he said the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? They're going to slay each other. God's going to have a fierce Lord rule over them. And then he's going to heal Egypt, it says even, right? He's going to smite it and heal it. And those that were perishing in the land of Assyria, right, shall come, right, to the mountain of the Lord when he blows the trumpet. So this is what I think is going to happen. I just got my... Uh, I just got my YouTube analytics weekly report in. It's interesting that... Uh, so here's the thing, 2,300 days out, right? This just came to our awareness in the past week or two, right? As I've mentioned previously, since the Revelation 21, uh, 12 sign, right? We just passed the 2,300 day mark. If that was indeed when it started, and I believe it's likely it is, that was the vision, right? Uh, in September 23rd, okay? We're 2,300 days out on, on the 11th this month, right? One, one, one. So uh, add a week onto that. And what does that come to? So if you go, it'd be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So in between the 17th and 18th, I believe it's likely judgment will begin. That's when the flood starts, right? Noah entered into the ark, okay, a week before the flood began, it says in Genesis, right? And what did uh, the uh, scripture says that God would send the rain in the first month, okay? And look how cold it is right now in our nation. And that's what it says at the bottom of this. Uh, you know, when judgment begins... Okay, the God is the, as the waters are going to be turned away, right? Isaiah nineteen five through ten, as God comes down to fight for His people, He's cutting off their help. Okay, and the 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 uh, source of the rivers it says shall stop flowing for three hours, and whoever's left after that, okay, we'll see God's salvation. Right? Chapter fifty says that God is going to cause the whole world to witness. The salvation of his people that they might for, forgo the work of their hands right he's going to destroy the sinners and the wicked that have targeted and persecuted us that partook of satan's wisdom and uh you know are thinking to set up satan's kingdom now you guys are all about you're damned in judgment now you hypocritical children that think to rob us and are still gnashing your teeth upon us are all about to get removed like dross on silver for cursing and judging people when you were told by jesus christ not to do that you hypocrites are about to remove and i do believe this is any time now the uh The judgment will begin, okay? Our leaders are treacherous. God will judge them now. The United States is at the head of all this evil. The usury system, the Federal Reserve, all these people are Luciferians. They're all being exposed with the tunnels and all that, right? A whole whole group of people. It's all, we're, it's coming undone right now. And then they think that, oh, they're going to silence our voices as we switch over. Well, no, you guys are going to be damned in the system you set up. The heathen are sunk down in the pit they made. And the net which they hit is their own foot taken. And the Lord is known by the judgments which he executes and the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. And they're all going into those camps they set up for us. If there's even any, any, uh, it's, it's, it's the siege. There's going to be a siege in the United States of America. Literally, you're going to flood our country with, uh, you know, that's what's about to happen. And all her honorable men will be bound in chains and they're going to be dashed to pieces. Nahum 3 says, okay, those that were at the head of this whole corrupt system are not getting out alive from what they've planned. They can go crawl into holes like Mark Zuckerberg, who freaking targeted the United States population through these uh, platforms, right? Through the the, the uh, cameras in, on our uh, computers, right? People just, you know, unsuspectingly sitting in their homes and then they would target us through their systems. Yeah, treacherous people. You think you're going to get away, Mark? You coward. These people... Literally, you guys don't don't fully comprehend. Our briars and thorns to Zion climbed up the wrong way and then literally destroyed people's souls. Okay, they have taken the, the treasure and precious things. Among my 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 people are found wicked men. Okay, they set a trap. They lie in wait. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. These people are hosting that fallen. Okay. 
they're they're a, a cage of every unclean bird. It says right, hateful people, right? I got to deal with these wicked children constantly. Like I'm supposed to have a good attitude about this, right? Well, we can. Jesus Christ is the one who gives us peace, but at the same time, I'm praying daily for judgment. Okay, so it's likely I believe at any time now. Okay, one week out from January 11th, which was day 2300. So everybody was given a notice. So it's, it would be a one week. That's a one week warning. So that's the mercy of God. Get on the ark, right? That I think is highly likely that's it's all coming together now. Okay, it says in Ezra, I think 2 Ezra 15, that the, uh, the scrolls shall be read in the sight of everybody or in the sight of the firmament. Okay, that's the word of God being made plain, and it is now. They can't hide it no more, right? And here, as I speak the truth, okay, they they want to act like they're still relevant. No, you guys are all getting removed now. Everyone, you treacherous sinners that did all this evil, man, it is a righteous thing. That everybody that rejected Jesus Christ would be destroyed in judgment. Well, the people that partook of Satan's wisdom and targeted us, you guys can all go now. Like a filthy garment, you're going to be removed. These children of hell is what they are. They made a covenant with death. Okay. They already died spiritually. They're dead. Is God going to breathe upon the slain? Or those that are perishing in, in Assyria and Egypt when the great trumpet blows? I don't know. So three days of darkness around the 17th or 18th, I believe. And then guess what? Trump is going to come back on the scene. It might happen at, at, at day 17 or 18 this month. Okay, but look at this. He's going to be 77 years old, seven months and seven days on the 21st. Okay. Does that, does that seem strange? Well, maybe it's just random, but is anything actually really random? Or does everything happen for a reason down here, right? And we just, in our uh, carnal awareness, don't understand that until we get sharpened up and get into the spirit. So my weekly recap came in today. It actually, I don't know if I post got deleted. It was, it did say 17 post here at the end. So it was seven, seven, one, seven. It did say seven, one, seven at the end there, which seven, one, seven is uh, Armageddon and to pluck and to gather. That's the rapture, right? And God's going to remove his people, gather. He's going to gather his people from the four winds and then arm, the judgment's going to begin, okay? So you know these people are lying, as I previously said when I covered this like two weeks ago. Okay, this says 18 comments. Well, the one video that had 9,000 plus comments has 25 comments on it. So you know these people are lying, man. I'm so glad this whole kingdom of fraud, right? And these bastards at the top, you know, in the United States government think they're going to have their kingdom, have our cake and eat it too. No, you hypocrites are all being judged now for what you did, liars whole bunch of treasonous sodomite children enjoy the judgment liars you guys are all getting out off our earth now from our presence every single one of you sinners can go now hallelujah praise god pray out pray to jesus christ you guys thank god that the uh the reward of the wicked is at the door and we're gonna get rest right i haven't able to been able to rest i can rest in the spirit of jesus christ what do you say to you who are troubled rest with us right and we do that in repentance that is the sabbath that's god's rest okay to repent because otherwise the enemy scatters you when you don't keep your covering your sacrifice on right if we continue in sin there no longer remains a covering but the enemy is going to scatter you and that's what, what's happened a lot of people have been judged to the, and scattered to the winds of heaven okay and like dross on silver the, the clay is going to turn to the seal the whole earth is going to be renewed okay regenerated in this time so it's literally upon us what do you guys think? The seven seven one seven. That's that's this week. In the first month, latter rain is the first month. It says so. 
and we're a week it'll be a week out and you see we're getting hit our we got our cargo ship got hit surely these tyrants you know that think that for decades for 70 years right have ruled with an iron fist and tyranny a bunch of sodomite vile people in a secret society oath sworn club of degenerates have fun being judged liars i'm so glad it's at its at its end hallelujah right you guys get ready though okay you had a weak warning i believe that was day 2300 on the 11th okay and i made the video here that i noticed too right here the end of daniel's 2300 days i was talking about the uh, 1111 and look what the timestamp turned out i didn't do that on purpose okay that's confirmation even that was the end of daniel's 2300 days january 11th and it, the timestamp showed up 11119 or whatever so for what it's worth i don't see this going any longer you guys seriously god is about to reward the wicked he's going to give his people rest i encourage you to repent still you know a week there was a weak warning and then the flood came that's the first month right rain floods and the wind like i said enoch was talking about they're not going to be able to stand when when the the, the uh, storms there's going to be storms all over this earth that we have never seen before okay then the cold that has blanketed the u.s in the last like not even several days now the whole u.s is like in deep freeze that don't happen a lot they were talking about that last year like how bad it was well, there's a lot of things the news is not mentioning right now that's happening and they're just being quiet i believe a lot of things like i've seen the east coast is underwater different areas are now underwater it's judgments beginning you guys okay when the hoar frost and snow and their chilliness and all the snowstorms with all their plagues fall upon you in those days you shall not be able to stand before them no, and God's going to rule with a rod of iron. He's going to dash the wicked to peace and all these deceitful children that think to, to tyrannize over us. You serve mammon. You worship the devil, idols, demons, and gnash your teeth upon us. And you want to blaspheme Jesus Christ, right? You guys can get off our earth now, liars, right? But God will still save some of these people when they repent. Apparently, this is what it says, right? Isaiah 19, okay? When the trumpet blows, those that were perishing in, in Assyria or Egypt shall come to worship before the Lord. So, it's, you know, I don't know how all this plays out, but it's at our door, I believe. It's now. It's anytime now. So, 